Good day, folks. The lull in our Washington weather is about to come to a close with active weather making a return beginning on Thursday and then another system on Friday and showers continuing through Saturday, another system on Sunday, and then a potentially much stronger system starting on Monday going into next week. Looking at the satellite imagery right now, we can see some clouds rotating across the ridge offshore, some light precipitation out there right now, but nothing too consequential. And looking at the HRRR model here, we see there is going to be another system that's going to begin approaching the area late tonight through Thursday morning. It's going to bring some light precipitation to the area, a little bit of mountain snow, and maybe some light snow to portions of eastern Washington as well. But any accumulations out there are expected to be light. Looking at the European model here, we're going to take a look at the system that's going to come through on Friday. And this system is going to have a little bit more precipitation with it and a little bit more wind. It's not expected to be a wind event per se, but it will be more noticeably breezy on Friday going through Saturday. And if we were to take a look at the swell height here on Weather Bell, we can see on Saturday there is going to be some slightly higher waves that are going to approach the coast during the king tide time. So right now it's looking like around king tide on Saturday afternoon, there's going to be about 10 foot swells coming out of the west northwest with a maximum wave height of around 20 feet. So that could cause some issues on the Washington coast on so those waves in tandem with the king tide on Saturday could cause a couple issues out there in places like Westport. Looking at the rain totals through Monday morning, it's going to be pretty wet. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, quite a bit of the lowlands getting up over an inch of rain looks likely. And the mountains, look at all that precipitation. Some of that's going to fall in the form of snow. But then as we head into Monday, but then as we head into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the snow levels are going to climb and any of that snow that fell up there could potentially melt and come down in the form of runoff. Speaking of snow, this is looking at that Wednesday through Thursday system, a little bit of snow for the Cascades. These are 24 hour totals here. And then maybe a little bit more on Friday into Saturday. And then snow levels are going to rise as we head into next week with a potentially stronger atmospheric river. Speaking of which, this is taking a look at it here. This is Monday right there, and we have this huge fetch of moisture that stretches way down into the central Pacific Ocean. And that's a really impressive plume of moisture that's going to be aimed somewhere near the Pacific Northwest here. It's looking pretty likely that it is going to mostly affect BC, Washington, and Oregon. And some of the rain totals that are showing up on the models for Washington State have been pretty impressive. So speaking of those rain totals... Here is last night's European run through Thursday morning. And look at some of these precipitation totals showing up on the European. It shows Tacoma getting about 5.1 inches of rain, Seattle 4.6, Everett 3.7, Mount Vernon 5 inches. And then up there in the mountains, look at this, just to the west of Stevens Pass, almost 14 inches of rain. That would definitely cause some issues out there by Snoqualmie Pass, almost 11 inches of rain. And if we look at the European ensemble spread for total precipitation in Seattle, this is looking at SeaTac, the mean by the time we get to Thursday evening is four inches out of these 50 members. So that is a lot of uh, consensus that there's gonna be quite a bit of rain coming towards Washington State. Uh, this weekend going into next week. And looking at the ensemble mean for someplace like Snoqualmie Pass, look at this. The mean is around 10 inches by the time we get to Thursday morning. And so there would almost certainly be some flooding issues if this were to occur. And if you look closely, some of these members have even higher, like this member right here. So 17 and up there I see a 14. And if we take a look at the spread, there is still some pretty big spread, but even on the lower end of the members is up over five inches. 
but on the upper end, we're getting close to 18 to 20 inches possible next week. So that's the extreme high, and this is the extreme low. Right now, the mean is still around 10 inches, which is still uh, could be pretty consequential. And looking at the National Weather Service, this is kind of their automated flood forecast system here. We do see that it is already showing the possibility of there being some flooding, maybe a little chance of minor flooding starting on Saturday morning. And then by the time we get to Tuesday, it's showing the river rising to potentially slight and then hovering right around slight all the way through Thursday. But this automated system is going to switch back and forth a little bit as we head into the next couple days. But really, the main thing to just be aware of is there's a lot of rain heading towards Washington State uh, starting this weekend, especially into next week with that impressive atmospheric river event. It might be the strongest event of the year so far. And there will be some snow, but check this out. We get snow in the Cascades this weekend, and then starting around Monday, it just stops accumulating mostly. And then it begins accumulating later in the week. But that period of no accumulation, that is when the atmospheric river is going to come in. It's going to raise the snow levels. And there's going to be some snow melt and runoff and potential river flooding issues. And it's taking a quick look at the wind here going into next week. It will probably also be breezy at time with that atmospheric river and then towards the back end of it. But... The details on that are going to become more clear as we get closer to that time frame. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure and hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you would like to be notified for future videos and also when we go out and do our storm chasing live streams. And if you like this video, you'll probably like that one. All right, I'll talk to you later.